everybody. Hope you can hear me. Ginger, Ginger, and this is chat show. And behind me is Loki, and he's watching. Um, I hope all is well. Uh, and of course it's Friday. And I kind of looked at the date. And I was standing there laughing a little bit. May 24, 2024. <coughs> so it's like 05, 20, 24, 24. Um, anyway, it's Memorial... <coughs> I'm sorry. It's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, it's a long weekend for some. Some are working, some are not. I hope everybody's able to take some time off. Uh, I am so glad, I'm sorry, I am so glad I'm not working anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you get, you, when you're younger, you have that drive, you have that energy, and you're able to get it, to get it done, right? Well, when you get older, it gets a little bit stale, and you feel kind of burned out. Yeah. Uh, I would, you know, retire too. Except the only drawback is you're on a fixed income. And so you have to watch your budget very carefully. Unless you put a lot of money back. Um, and then you're able to live comfortably. Uh, unfortunately, in 2008, the same year that I got had my divorce, um, was divorced and everything else is when the uh, screw up by Bush Bush Jr. Um, on the economy didn't help any because I lost a good portion of my Boeing retirement from that. I was able to replenish it a little bit, but um, you know, you only have so much. Good thing I have a lot put away from me. Social Security, so I'm good. So anyway, I hope you find you all well. Uh, if you don't come on, that's okay. You're probably busy dealing with the storms that we've been having the last four weeks, off and on. Uh, Greenville, Iowa didn't fare so well. They were pretty much decimated uh several towns in texas uh oklahoma um michigan um so they're keeping an eye on the sky because of the storms um here it's been windy off and on um you know the last rain we had was like day before yesterday Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Day before yesterday. So. Anyway. Uh, next week. Of course, the re of course you know. The trials pretty much concluded. Both the defense rests. And the. Uh, prosecution rests. And now they're getting everything. All paperwork all together. And then. Tuesday is when the trial is going to resume to its conclusion for Trump. Uh, they have to get everything, get all their ducks in a row and everything, and they do the argument, final argument, and then they transfer uh, all the information over to the jury, and the jury goes in and they deliberate on all 41 charges. Well... I hope they all have common sense and say, you know what, it's so, the evidence is so solid, it's not even funny, they would probably find him guilty on all 41 counts. 41 counts of falsification of records and election interference and everything else, uh, that carries a pretty hefty prison sentence. Uh, each count is for four years, so four years times 41 is 136 years. 
in prison. So it's basically life in prison for he who shall not be named. And so in many ways, I hope that happens. I hope there's no um, ankle bracement and home detention and everything else. Uh-uh. He needs to be in prison. He needs to be stuck in solitary or out in the population. And you know what? They need to yank the Secret Service there. He doesn't need Secret Service. And the people, some people say, well, he's president. Well, no, he's not. Not anymore, he's not. And I don't know if you've been watching Minus Touch. A lot of the supporters are leaving his rallies. They're just like, maybe there's a few crazies, but... Um, they left the rally. A lot of them are like, he's not making sense. He's not telling you what his plans are or anything else. A lot of them are really starting to wake up of what he's done and what he said. And um, those that are too blind to see it, they're being a bunch of idiots. Now, the one person I'm not very disappointed in is Nikki Haley, the former governor of South Carolina. Um... She says she's going to vote for Trump. And I said, why would you vote for a guy that is not all there in the head, number one? Uh, and he doesn't have any solid plans. He's, all he wants to do is be a dictator. And no, that that's, does not belong in this country. Um... Uh, so, um, if I were her, I'd change the vote back to Biden and back Biden. A good majority of the Republicans are backing Biden because he's done an excellent job so far. And there are some other, of course, the MAGA GOP were trying to twist everything, and I, and they go, Oh, well, look at Biden. He stutters and everything else. He's not mentally fit. And I go, You guys are being stupid. Look at Trump. He's he's worse. And he's gotten worse. And he's broke a lot of laws. I don't want a president who breaks laws. I want a president who decency, morals, and wants to make everything normal. And uh, knows how everything works. Knows how the government works. Uh... President Biden knows how the government works, okay? He spent years in the Senate, uh, 36 years in the Senate. He spent eight years as vice president, and now he's serving his, just almost completing his first term of four years as president. Well, I'm, I'm going to be basically voting for him, uh... Because I like what he's doing. And sure, there's some things you don't agree with, but you really look at it and go, yeah, you're right. And it kind of works, right? So anyway, as far as Trump goes, I hope he's going to be put in the pokey and kept there. I really do. Now, the other thing I hear is that... Um, Jack Smith is appealing to the 11th Circuit regarding Cannon, and she needs to be replaced and put in a judge that has experience of handling stuff in cases like this. So, I hope it's done, and I hope it's quick, quickly. Um, now, I also I heard on Minus Touch, uh, Senator Sheldon Black, uh, Sheldon Whitehouse, I really, I like him. Um, I hope next, next time in 2028 he runs for president. Um, he is the high-ranking member of the Judiciary Committee in the Senate. They're the group, group that's tasked to confirm justices of the Supreme Court. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me.
and confirm other federal judges. Not the local judges, but the federal judges. Um, Becky, they're opening investigation on both uh, Alito and Thomas. And on their... Let's say unethical actions that they have done. And if that's all found good and is solid, those two may be removed from the bench. And I hope they are. Because you don't want a Supreme Court judge to be biased. You want them to be unbiased. And they need to um, set aside their political differences and look at the law and say, okay, yeah. So... Uh, Ali Joe is not looking at the law. He's looking at his political preference, and especially in the flags. Um, now that is the first time I ever seen a Supreme Court judge fly a flag that is caters toward January 6th. Um, Thomas is also, he's been taking briberies and gifts which he had not reported. And he's supposed to report. Um, and all the other judges besides, except for Gorsh and this other judge, uh, Amy Coney Barrett, uh, but the other judges, lot some have gotten one of them once, but they don't don't they don't really like politics all that well. They prefer to following the law. And so, uh, any trips or anything they take, they pay their own way. Um, so anyway, Senator Sheldon White House is going to be launching an investigation on those two ju uh, Supreme Court judge, judge, Justices, Ali and, jo and Thomas. <coughs> and we'll see hey, what happens there. Um, now, my next news, uh, SpaceX is it's been very busy. They've been, they already launched the past 36 hours. They launched two uh, satellites, Starlink satellites. And some of those satellites are replacing the older satellites that were launched like three years ago, four years ago. And so they're replacing some of those. Anyway, they're expanding the the, the net, network up there. Um, also, they've done some other work. Uh, they also launched some rockets for uh, National Reconnaissance Office uh, spy satellites up there for them as well. Um, Starliner uh, is supposed to launch June 1st. They think they got the propulsion system leak fixed. That's why it took so long, because they had to take it, put it back down, they put it back in the shop, they have to find out where the leak is, fix it, double check everything, run tests and everything on it, then put it back on the launch pad. And that takes time. And sure, it was supposed to launch three weeks ago, but they want to make sure everything's right because this is a piloted, this is a man launch is what it is. It's not um, run by computers on the uh, rocket. And this, is not, this rocket is not a SpaceX rocket. This rocket is a Saturn V. So, and that belongs to Boeing, 
slash Starliner uh, through the net ULA, which is United Launch uh, Association um, entity. So, um, anyway, I hope all is well. Uh, but, you know, keep up with the news. Get as much information as you can. Form your own opinions. Um, I very rarely watch, you know, the legacy news services like CBS, NBC, ABC. Because some of them can be slanted. And they're, discover they're discovering now that they're losing... Uh, the ratings because people want the truth. They don't want to be anything filtered. They want the bare truth. And those three legacies, CBS, NBC, ABC, are discovering that. And one time MSNBC has used some of uh, minus touch footage and said, well, these guys really dig for the truth. And that's what it should be. Because you remember back in the um, 1960s, uh, Walter Cronkite and Huntley and Brinkley um, newscast, remember those? They just put out the facts and they let you draw your own conclusions. They don't give any opinion or anything else. They just put it out there and let people die, decide for themselves. That's true journalism. And they did. They worked on the facts. They did their research and everything else, and they just want to make sure everything's correct. Well, you know, now I think the fairness doctrine needs to be put back in place and not have these right-wing idiots and um, Fox, so-called Fox News. Sorry, my nose is itching. Uh, Fox News. And they need to stop gaslighting. That's what they need to do. They need to stop doing that because it's not helping anybody or anything, okay? So some people go, well, you're preaching in choir. No, I'm putting out the truth, okay? This has to stop. And, oh, uh, I'm, I'm tired of the gaslighting, and I'm tired of the twisting, and... I'm tired of people like Marjorie Taylor Greene that twists everything, and Bobert twists everything, Alina Hobba twists anything. I don't think Alina Hobba really got past her bar exam when she sounds, okay? So, and people should tell it right to her face, Trump is no longer president, so stop calling him President Trump. You were told that in the courtroom, and you should be told that now. So anyway, I'm going to be posting this on my YouTube channel, this video, and I hope all is well. Um, I see people haven't come on, so that's okay. Uh, you guys are busy dealing with a lot of stuff, the storms and everything, so please stay safe. Be sure to insist, persist, and push back. Have a good weekend, and I don't know if I'm going to do my chat on Monday or not, because Monday's Memorial Day, and a lot of people may be gone just for the day or whatever, so I will keep you posted whether I want to do Memorial Day or not. I probably won't, but I will po let you know. Post it and let you know on that. So, anyway, take care. And I will see you guys next video. So, stay
stay safe. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.